I worry about one uh, issue in, um, in our sort of secondary plastics, in other words, our waste products or our recycled products, and that is the issue of recyclability. I get a little bit despondent when I see plastics that are created with dyes that make the, the recycling either impossible or reduces the value of that re recycled product. I think we have to kind of look at plastic that we use to package in a way that we're thinking, hey, it's not just for this liquid or this solid or this product, it's for another product hereafter, and I want to create value for that. Right now, it's cheaper for a lot of companies to buy virgin plastic resins than it is to buy good, clean, recycled material. I'm glad you raised that issue because it's an interesting one because we have a dilemma as a company. We can use recycled material in a lot of our products and exclude the dyes, but I suggest that to our marketing team and they want our product to look pristine on the shelf and highest quality and if you stick a brown kind of dyeless recycled bottle on the shelf next to this beautiful red bottle. What are they, what's somebody going to buy? They're, you know, today, likely, they're going to buy the red bottle. One of the reasons I like to bring attention to this issue is because I, I would love that brown, maybe uglier looking bottle. Someone to buy that because they're aware of the problem and they see it as a solution to the problem and they see us trying to solve the problem. But you know, until consumers, people recognize that it's an issue that needs to be solved, they just don't know and they, they go to the simplest, most beautiful looking product on the shelf. That's a challenge that we have to get people to shift their purchasing behavior to a slightly different looking product. Thank you.